Hey guys, back again. I am going to be talking to you about uh, a couple of uh, questions that I've had. Um, try and get in this video. If not, I'll do it in the next one. Uh, where to start if you've never played this game before or you've just touched on it and you don't want to invest a lot of money into it. Uh, one of my previous ep uh, videos, I mentioned that a good place to start would be purchasing a starter deck. The uh, current starter deck as of 2011 are these ones here. Now, um, everything you need to play a game for one player is in these starter decks. I will open up the starter decks and show you what's in them and what you get. The prices of these uh, starter decks start at about nine bucks, and I think I've seen them as high as maybe about fourteen or fifteen bucks. Shop around because that is a that is a very large window for one deck of cards. Um, what you get in here, like I say, is um, enough uh, uh, material for one player. To play, I've already opened this. I just got back from the comic book store. I spent a couple hours there playing a uh, starter deck tournament, in which uh, you are only allowed or permitted to use what's in the starter deck, not the booster pack that's in here. And I just gave away some of the stuff that's in the deck, in the uh, box rather. So I've already opened this one. I got smucked. I played about four or five games with the warrior, uh, orc warrior, and I got uh, my butt handed to me on a plate. But this mat that you see here. I won. Um, so if you do have a local game shop or a local uh, comic book store that does hold events, uh, you can win stuff like this even though you are not a very good player. So give that a try. Check it out. Now we're going to show you what's in these. I've got the um, the Alliance deck. It's a class deck, the Worgen Hunter. I'll give you a closer look at this one here. Um, be aware that there are decks previous to this year. This is the 2011 starter deck. and. <clears throat> this is um, the Horde starter deck. Now there are ten starter decks, uh, five Horde, five Alliance, each with a different um, uh, hero in them. The heroes in these starter decks are specific to the starter decks. You cannot get them in the booster packs. So keep that in mind as well. So let's see what we got going on in the class starter deck for the Horde. So we're just going to open this, uh, open this up and this is what you see on the inside. You get your basic, I believe this is a, well I know this is, is this is a pre-constructed deck, okay. Um, you get a specific hero with this, and I think there's 60 cards in here, in this little pack. Um, you also get the uh, quick start rule guide on how to play the game, which is very good. Um, and pardon me for the ums and oohs. Inside you also get a more elaborate uh, rule book explaining a little bit more about the game if you want to uh, if, if you've had enough at the quick start and you want to know more about the game itself again this material is downloadable from the internet in a more complete version of it as I said previously in my other videos there is a um, a complete book it's about 70 pages long but both of these books are good they have uh, somewhat graphics explaining on um, how to play the game and, and what everything does and what everything it means on a card Okay. Um, further in this little pack, you're going to get a, uh, a shrink-wrapped or cellophane card. This card, some people have asked what this is all about uh, when they've opened up their decks to see this. This is a crafting card. You can redeem these cards with Cryptozoic, and uh, you can, um, by redeeming them, get special what's called crafted cards. Um, same cards that you would get in here, but the only way that you can get them is if you were to submit cards like this. Kind of a bonus system uh, and, a, and a collection thing, okay? Um, what else you get in here? And this one is the uh, War of the Elements uh, from the World Breaker block. And uh, this is a booster pack. This is a random booster pack. Every card in here is going to be random. And, uh, well, we'll go ahead and open that up in a, in a few minutes here. Let's first see what is in what you get in the pre-constructed deck now when I played the tournament we were only allowed to play with these cards we were not allowed to add the booster pack to the deck um, just to make it fun and friendly and everything like that no serious competition um, so let's grab let's grab the blade here open her up make sure I don't cut any of the cards which I probably might do Okay, I should have actually opened this up off camera. But what you're going to get is you're going to get your hero card. This is the most easily identified card in the deck. Uh, 
probably because it's the only two-sided card that's in the deck. You have the uh, one main picture on the secondary side, and then you have the primary side, which tells you the information. Um, this particular hero, uh, as you can see, is a one-time use special ability. On your turn, flip it and ready a target ally. Uh, as I said, previous to Cryptozoic taking over, uh, Upper Deck did these, and that was the general consensus for most of their heroes. I believe Cryptozoic is now uh, changing that, or the majority of it, to an ongoing effect for the rest of the game. Um, what you're going to notice in here, obviously, let's go here. This is your quick rule um, guide. It's a full out uh, how to play, how to play the game. Very good instructions. I would recommend again giving these a read, and after you're done with these and have a game under your belt, go in and read the uh, more expanded version of the book. It gives you a, a better idea of why things work the way they would do, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, again, a, a pre-constructed deck, so you're going to see a lot of duplicates in here. I'm not going to really go through the whole deck. I'm just kind of looking at my camera screen here. Um, very generic. What I find when you're playing s these decks um, against each other, these class decks, is your games will be very balanced, and the game might take a little bit longer, but it'll be a little bit more fun. You're not going to get smoked completely when you're playing your opponent. So if you're starting out, you and a buddy are starting out, get the... Uh, get these get these in my opinion because you will have a uh, more entertaining more fun and you won't get totally dusted that also being said obviously some decks uh, such as maybe this one here the shaman deck um, will totally blow away a warrior deck or something like that but on the whole they generally tend to be pretty balanced and you'll have a pretty fun game um, before you even decide to play the game get to know your deck, leaf through it, see what you've got in there so you know what can ex you expect to come up um, more often and uh, so forth like that. Uh, I'm just leafing through this right now. Um, one thing I have to say about these decks is they're for the most part regurgitated uh, cards from previous sets so you're not going to get anything overly spectacular in these and it's not designed to do that, it's designed to get um, players into the game and hooked so they can buy the booster packs and so forth. And I'm not going to open this one up, but it's the same same kind of stuff in this. You're going to get the this well actually I'll, I'll just show you. Uh, you're going to get the same stuff. You're going to get the uh, War of the Elements, War of the Elements booster pack. You're going to get in each one your elaborated rule book. Okay. You're going to get the cellophane crafting card, um, and you're going to get the pre-constructed deck. Again, with a different hero, this one is going to be an alliance, and it's going to be a worgen. Um, so, it's going to be the same setup in each box. Um, I think it's a pretty good value for, for starting out, and then you can just move up from there. What's really good about this is, right off the hop, you know what you're getting into. So if you play the uh, the MMO and your MMO character happens to be some sort of hunter, in this case a worgen hunter, and you want to emulate that in the card game, this is probably the way you want to go. Well, this is definitely the way you want to go. Um, and just for, uh, you know, kicks, we will open up the booster pack. This is one of the newest booster packs that they have. Again, it's the War of the Elements. It's kind of a promotional thing. Um, they throw one in each one, again, to get you hooked. Um, you're going to get your, your quest cards. Uh, you can tell that by the icon up at the top. You're going to get your ability cards, more quest cards. Um, every card for the game you're going to get in here. One of the things that people like to look for in here, and I'm going to look for it, is, well, I got an elemental. Okay, another, another elemental. This is a, a token card. So you're going to ask what these are all about. And my camera's not going to focus. Uh, certain characters um, use tokens, and when the tokens come in play, you need to have. There are actually prior to this, there were no token cards or very little token cards. Um, so, for example, if you have a card in your system that, in, in, in your deck that says, um, "Play this card, receive three water elementals, put them into play." Prior to uh, Cryptozoic taking over, I don't believe there were actual token cards. Um, you kind of had to make something of your own or flip a card over and put it on the table and you would understand that that would be 
the token for this card. Now they've actually made token cards, so that makes it a little bit easier for other people. Um, each deck, each booster pack that you purchase, you're also going to get a focus. This is your hero card. Now, if you don't get a hero card in your booster pack, the, you basically scored because uh, they've given you a loot card in its place. Now, the loot cards could be worth anywhere from a dollar um, up to almost, I'd say in some areas, 800 bucks. Um, that seems to be the selling point for most people with this game is just make money off the loot cards. The loot cards are uh, kind of linked to the MMO, and uh, which is why there's a certain monetary value involved in those. So that is the new class decks. I haven't seen any YouTube videos on the class decks explaining the class decks and what's inside the boxes. But if you're new to the game, you want to try it out, you've heard about it, but you don't want to invest a lot of money, go out and get a, uh, a couple of, a couple of not booster packs, a couple of uh, class decks. Give it a shot. See how you feel about it. Yeah, worth the money. All right. Next video, I'm going to discuss uh, a couple of questions people have had with regards to certain uh, rules of the game, such as attacking and stacking and, and things like that. Um, might be a day or two before I get to that, but pick up a class deck. Try it out. Thanks for watching, guys.